I had done the birth of the blues and I had mentioned about the augmented nine chord in there. As I said, I might use when I went to a, with a more modern group and I said I could use it right off the bat on the C. for a blues in the key of C. So if you're going, uh, uh, you know, uh, blues, uh, I got the blues. So you see a lot of modern piano players just move their hand like that in positions. Now if I move that C augmented 9 chord up a half step, I come out with a G7 chord that has an A in it, which is the 9, and the E, which is the 13 again. So I had a, a right here, I had a, a, an F uh, 13 chord. To a G13 chord and then back down to the. Now you're going to tell me it's the same, same lucky position it is. So that chord in between is a G flat or an F sharp 13 chord. But it's also, if you voice it a different way, if you play it as a, as a C chord, you have a C chord, you have E, B flat, and you have. Um, your A flat or your G sharp, that's an augmented tone in the C chord, and then you have this E flat, which is a half step below that E natural down there. So you have the major third in the chord, and you have the minor third in the chord together. That's what makes an augmented nine. So if you start off with that blues again, I got the blues. So it depends on the genre of music you're playing it in. Now, that stuff has always been used. I had mentioned an old blues. There's an old blues that's very close to mecha flat blues, and a lot of people play it for mecha flat blues. It had something to do with what, he, what am I doing this morning, or some kind of a title like that originally. But uh, mecha flat blues is good. Do, 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 do. flat blues. Mecca flat was a, a housing. Uh, I went in a partnership with my publishing company with a wonderful old bass player who's very famous named Truck Parham, Charles Parham. And the PA in my payday publishing company is because of the PA for Parham and the DA in there is for the for Davis, Parham and Davis. So a lot of people pronounce it Pada, but I had lines over the A's so it was payday for Parham and Davis. Anyway, Truck lived out at Mecca Flat as a kid, and he told me about it. It was out on the south side of Chicago, housing for uh, for low class uh, uh, for low cost people. Anyway, um, so anyway, back to the Mecca Flat. Now, if you take the other part of that, or the other one, 
it used the augmented ninth in there back in those days. So it went. Da, 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 da. Now mecha flat. Da, 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 da. Now mecha flat went on with that. Da, 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 da. The other one doesn't. The other one plays, plays the augmented nine chord note there. So it's like. Da, 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 da. tune that's like mecha flat blues and, and, the, and there's, there's all kind of stuff like that, that there's a tune that Woody does where he paraphrased from there was a song by Johnny Dodds called Hear Me Talking To You he paraphrased it because he liked he liked that augmented ninth note it's better it's having the minor I guess the major of the chord. Now here I've only have the B flat in there in between. You're hearing the C and you're hearing the G and you're hearing the E and you're hearing the E flat. You know that? So some of this stuff is great and you can uh, do a lot with it. Now, I was thinking of something else there. I was thinking of, uh, oh yeah, the Woody song. Hear me talking to you. Now it starts out. All right, that's how the melody starts. The melody starts going. Yeah. 
よ。Showing you how that that what they call an augmented nine chord C7. First of all, in this blues, you're using the right off the bat. You're using the seven. You're using the seven on every chord is what you're using. So you're using the seven right off the bat. All right, it's up here. You see, so uh, that's showing you, but it's also I'm also trying to show you. That they've been used. They've been used for years. All through music, they've been used for years. So,、uh, so there's different flat kind of sounding things in there that they make the blues sound. And the more modern players put in every chord. That's that's the difference. They have all that stuff. They're always playing thirteenth chords and all that. But what's happening is that makes you go chromatic. You know, you notice that where I was going here. <coughs> You'll hear that. You'll hear modern have that that chromatic form of the in there all the time. Because if you put a flat five in a chord, we'll go to that after a while. If you put a flat five into into that D seven chord, you have an A flat seven chord, and an A flat seven chord and a D flat seven chord have exactly the same notes in them. So what you've done is you've cut the scale in half. Instead of having twelve tones of the scale, now you're working on six tones, and that's what happens with the modern music. It starts going on stuff like that. Then we get into the diminished chords become flat nines, and they become all kind of movements wherever. So the diminished chords continually used、uh, throughout, and then the 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 whole tone scale is starting to be used. The whole tone scale: C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, right, A sharp, C. There's only seven notes, not eight notes in the scale. Normally, the scale has eight notes in it. The whole tone scale only has seven notes in it, and it's built on, it's built on, and, and it's built on an, an automatic chord. So later on, I'll show you how that augmented chord becomes used all the time, the same as the diminished chord does. Because if you put an, a, a a whole tone scale over the top of a D minor, for example, if you start right, you got that. Well, what you've got, if you've got that.What you've got is you've got an augmented chord over the top of of a minor chord. If you start thinking about building building off of the and the minor chord, it becomes a a minor major seven chord. So instead of having a minor chord, you're continuing continuing playing on minor major seven chords and running the augmented the、uh, the the、uh, Uh, 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 the whole tone scale, you see. But in that case, it would be a C sharp. You take it a tone below the 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 main the the dot of this. Oh, the basic of of the D minor chord. I can't think of anything right now. The root, and that becomes. You see, that becomes the whole tone scale. Off of the off of the D minor major seven chord. So and there are only two whole tone scales, 
after you play the first whole tone scale and the second whole tone scale, the third whole tone scale becomes the same notes as the first whole tone scale. So you have not only cut with the other, you've cut the music in half with a flat five, with this you've cut it to two scales. So that's what happens in modern music. It gets out of hand after a while for me, whatever. And, and it, but you have to be playing in the same genre with the other players for it to sound right. If you, if you don't, it just sounds like you're do, play, playing a bunch of trash. So you have to remember you've got to stay within the genre. Anyway, I've gone way, way over here on this.